Last video was reflected XSS. Now we're gonna look into DOM, uh, DOM based XSS. So DOM based XSS, in this video, we're gonna do the exercise or the attack. In the next video, we're gonna do the prevention or how to protect against the DOM based XSS and also the two or three questions in the quiz to check our knowledge. So let's start with the attacks. Some cross-site scripting attacks don't require server vulnerabilities. And I'm just gonna start off with making the parentheses. XSS is not something that I usually look forward to in my application testing assessments or in my AppSec assessments or projects. I'm actually doing the very basic testing for XSS, but I'm not focusing on this vulnerability because I do not particularly like it. So I actually take the time uh, and only do the very basics just to cover the attack and then I move forward to more serious issues. I, I'm not saying that I'm disregarding uh, the impact of cross-site scripting attacks, but I'm, I'd rather be focusing on authorization permissions, broken authentication, authentication bypass, sensitive information leakage, source code review, these are the vulnerabilities that I'm focusing on and very, very less likely you're going to see me focus on injection vulnerabilities because to be frank, uh, a lot of modern frameworks uh, or a lot of applications are built on top of modern frameworks and those are already covering uh, most injection tags. So it's a very low hanging fruit for me. So if you make use of your URI fragments in your site, you need to ensure they cannot be abused to inject malicious JavaScript. Want to see how you might be vulnerable? Okay. So as JavaScript frameworks have gotten more sophisticated, many developers are pushing logic to the client side. Correspondingly, the importance of knowing how to protect against vulnerabilities occurring in a browsers or in the browser have increased. So rich web applications often use URI fragments, the part of the URI after the this sign, whatever it's called. This has proven a convenient method of storing or hash sign of storing the user um, location within a page in a way that keeps browser history readable, but does not cause extra round trips to the server. So URI fragments are not set with HTTP requests, so they need to be interpreted by the client side JavaScript. This is really important. So when you're gonna see some uh, hash or something like, let's go back. So after the hash sign, when you're gonna see something like that, you often see that in pages such as in this one, for example, uh, you should be careful that uh, your treatment of URI fragments does not permit the injection of malicious JavaScript afterwards. Let's see how a site might be vulnerable to DOM-based XSS attacks. So our example website has infinite scroll content, so it's loaded dynamically. And you also see this in Wikipedia and in pages with multiple headlines, or not necessarily headlines, but multiple sections. You're using the hash to actually jump from one section to another to actually scroll or skip to one uh, to different sections. Notice how the URI fragment is used to track the scroll location. Let's see. So if they move on, you can actually see it moving here, five, six, whatever, four, three, two, one, five, six, seven, eight. This is done so that if the user navigates away, now all this happens client side, not server side. So this all the the script is loaded client side. Now, if you this this would actually be a very good opportunity for someone like you or me to actually spend more time and learn JavaScript, because if you're gonna learn JavaScript, you're actually you're not gonna do what most people do. What most uh, what a lot of application security professionals without uh, coding experience do they just take a payload list from whatever website and they just shoot payloads at a certain uh, web framework praying that something might work you're actually going to take time read the code because the code is going to be available since you're doing client-side testing uh, for example if you were in a situation like in this one you have you'd be able to get your hands on the code and actually read the code and be able to spot whether or not it's a vulnerability. So that's what 
professional application security professionals do. So there is always a good advice to actually start learning how to code or to actually learn how to read code to be able to track security issues in code. Now this is done so that if a user navigates away from the site and then presses the back button, the site can reload their last location. So however, there is a vulnerability in the way the URI fragment is interpreted by the site. The site updates the page number directly from the URI fragment without checking the contents. In this situation, this is the malicious code. Notice how the window location hash in this situation is written into the DOM as raw HTML, a major security hole. In this situation, there is no sanitization on the windows.location.hash. So let's move on. This means that an attacker can construct a URL with malicious JavaScript in the URI fragment, such as this situation. So in this, uh, we have the normally looking website here with the hash number eight, and then we have a malicious um, a malicious input in this situation we have the website and after the hash sign over here there is the script so window.location this actually redirects uh, to the malicious website controlled by this uh, dude here with the green face and blue hair um, and then it actually takes the takes your cookie and posts your cookie in their as a parameter in their uh, controlled domain here and this your cookie is actually going to appear in their server logs moving on and when somebody is tricked into visiting that url the javascript will be executed in their browser and your cookie is going to be in their hands so in this situation you're going to be redirected to their um, website okay that's clearly pretty dangerous let's see how to protect against dom based xss vulnerabilities and this is the subject for the next video let me just finish this one here.